Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a collective haul for you guys. I went shopping yesterday. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Obviously, I went shopping because this video, this channel has just turned out into haul channels. Uh, this channel has just turned in, into a haul kind of channel recently. Um, well, pretty much since I started, it's just pretty much been a lot of hauls. But I went to a lot of places yesterday. I say a lot of places. I went mainly to one place yesterday, which was Primark, and this bag is as heavy as anything. So much so that my finger from just lifting that is sore. Um, yeah, I went to Primark, I went to Savers, and I went to The Works. Now, if you don't know what Savers and The Works are, I'm not sure if they are like a whole UK thing, but here in Northern Ireland, The Works is a bookshop but you can buy like other things in it like um stationery and art supplies and puzzles and wee small games and stuff for kids um it's just a really good place to go to i only bought two items in, it in, the, in there and in savers i bought a few other items which savers is pretty much like a it's kind of like a like a not a drugstore there is some makeup in it but it's like a beauty kind of place where you can get like deodorants you can get shower gels you can get her products you can get like i said you can get some makeup i think they do rimmel makeup and um, maybe maybelline i think that's it um but it's mostly just them wee bits that people forget to pick up like shower gel toothpaste um baby wipes <laughs> like just just like a general kind of store for that kind of stuff so um yeah and then obviously Primark which I spent a fortune in and I was scared to look at my bank balance after I came out of Primark but um well do you know what compared to other times that I've been in the Primark I didn't buy that much stuff compared to other times but anyway so we'll start off with savers because it is on, let me get my purse out of the way, um, it is all the stuff on the top. So I bought this Nivea deodorant spray, this is the powder touch spray. Um, nothing really much to say about that. I do use, and it's not even sitting here, I did have it a minute ago, I swear I had it a minute ago. But it's not sitting here. Oh no it is. Okay. I use these Mitchum sticks and I love them. This one is the powder fresh and it smells so good. It's like talcum powder. Um, and then I use the lemon scented one as well, which sm smells so good. But I use these and then every now and again I will use them and then I will spray as well. Just, I don't know why, I, it's just the way I do it. But I always like to keep backups of everything. I also need like to make sure that I have enough deodorant because Obviously, with the job that I have, you're pretty much spraying yourself all day. <laughs> it sounds it sounds a bit disgusting, but that's pretty much what you're doing. Um, but yeah, or maybe that's just me, I don't know. But yeah, I like to keep a lot of deodorant. My friend will tell you I'm addicted to buying deodorants. Like, I buy them in bulk. Normally, I go to B&M and I buy like maybe like four bottles <laughs> all together. And then it's the same with shower gels and stuff like that. Like, you guys have seen my... my uh, body shop hauls with the shower gels if not go and check them out on my channel and um, the next few things that I got here are face products so I got the Fizzable Clear Blackhead Eliminating Daily Scrub by Neutrogena now I did have a scrub from Neutrogena years and years ago and I can't remember what it was I think it was just called the Daily Exfoliator and it was gorgeous it had the green um, beads in it instead of the orange ones and I couldn't find that. I wasn't going to try and hunt down and go over the boots and stuff like that because we were leaving to go and do other things but um, I just thought I would pick this up and I don't know it smells alright it doesn't smell bad or anything I can't really smell it properly but I just thought I would pick that up. I don't have a lot of blackheads at the moment, but I do normally get it around this area or a wee bit on my chin as well. So, um, yeah, I picked that up. And the other one that I picked up that I have tried is the Fizzbly Clear 
pink grapefruit daily scrub now I have used this in the past and I know that I really really like this but recently I have only been using it's even in the bathroom but I have been using like foam cleansers um, or foam yeah foam cleansers um, and I do really really like them um, but I wanted something not a bit harsh but I want something that feels like it's really scrubbing my skin um, because I do have this vitamin um, C facial wash from body, the, not the body shop Soap and Glory which the foam cleanser was from as well and this is really nice and it's got the like pink beads in that which are really really nice but it's not as Again, that word harsh is probably not the best word to use, but it's it doesn't, I don't feel like it exfoliates my skin as much as I want it to. So I decided to pick up this one. I ha Like I said, I have had this in the past. It smells really, really nice. I don't know what that noise was, <laughs> but it smells really, really nice. And yeah, I should have picked up maybe two of these um, because I'll go through this like nobody's business, but um, yeah I picked up those I hope my skin doesn't get worse because I'm just clearing up a few things um, from it being my time of the month because you know girls um, but yeah I hope it doesn't break me out because I'm changing my routine but yeah and the last thing that I got was Sudocreme now the reason why I got Sudocreme I do have a Sudocreme in here and I never use a full one like I never use a full one but this one's starting to go like I don't know what way this one's starting to go it's just weird like it clumps together but like there's even a wee bit of liquid in there I don't think that's right but it doesn't like normally you put your finger in pseudocrem and it comes off onto your finger well that was a bad <laughs> that actually worked um it normally comes straight off onto your finger but this like clumps and you have to like fully on scrape it out with your finger so I don't want to use this on my skin I don't think it's right but again if you don't know about Sudocrem it is pretty much it says on here that it's nappy rash or you can use it as an antiseptic healing cream for nappy rash, eczema, bed sores, other uses of sunburn, minor burn surfaces or surface wounds, acne and child chilblains or chilblains um now it says acne on there i used to use this for my spots just to dull down the retinas but it would dry them out so so much that you would have to go and back and scrub it but a friend of mine in work has mentioned that she's using it for her acne and i thought you know what it worked wonders when I first used it. Um, it just left me a wee bit dry. Let's try it again because I did have a few breakouts down here in my chin that were really, really bugging me. So I wanted to put some pseudocreme on that and I didn't want to use my old one. So I picked up a new one and they have like changed the packaging of it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like purple writing underneath as well. So yeah, but I bought that so we can throw out the old one. Um, that is everything from Savers. I can't remember the prices of them and I didn't take a receipt off her because I know fine rightly these products I can use. Um, so the next thing I think we'll go with the stuff from the works. Um, now the first thing like I said the works is a company that sells books and games and arts and crafts and different stuff like that and I'm not 100% sure that you can get it in other countries but uh, the first thing oh like I said you can get books and stuff and games and arts and crafts and wee things for kids and stuff like that but the first thing I got was this this is the Harry Potter Trivia Pursuit game I think this is the older one I do believe there's a newer one out and this doesn't tell me the date Um. No, it doesn't tell me the date. Um, but I don't know if this is the newer one or the older one. I know there's ones that have different kind of like packaging and stuff. Um, but as you can tell, this was only a tenner, so or twenty pound. Um, so I decided to pick it up because I have been not hemming and handing, but I have it in my eBay um, wish list, and I haven't picked it up. So I decided to pick it up, and the. <laughs> 
thing is, my daddy loves Harry Potter. Well, he's watched Harry Potter um, quite a few times. Me and my sister love Harry Potter. She prefers the books than the movies because she originally read all the books before the movies and all were coming out. Um, me, on the other hand, I had watched all the movies before I read the books because my sister never let me read her books. So I had to buy my own. But um, I know most of the stuff in this is about the books. It's going to probably be a wee bit hard to play with people that don't know what is in the books. Um, but we will try. So yeah, we'll give it a go and we'll see what it's like. But I thought £10, I will pick it up while I can. It's always good to have some good like, games about. And the next thing I have here, um, recently, okay, I do need to explain this a wee bit because people are probably going to wonder why on earth I have it. Recently, I have been going through a phase of, um, okay, <laughs> let me start from the beginning. So, recently I watched a programme on Netflix called The Unabomber, which if you guys don't know, go and check it out, it's still on Netflix. Um, but The Unabomber is based on a real ser a serial killer that was called The Unabomber back in the, I think it was like he started in the 1970s and continued on for quite some time. Um, but he obviously used bombs and that was his like not his signature, but that was his method of hurting people. Now, he didn't kill a lot of people. He killed, I think it was three people, if I remember correctly, um, and injured, like, loads of people. But, obviously, I'm not I'm not agreeing with what he'd done or anything. Um, I'm just telling you what, what he'd done. Um, but I have been going through a bit of a phase recently that I decided... Do you know what? I really, I'm really interested in this kind of stuff. I'm really interested in finding out about other serial killers, and I'm really interested in to see why they done what they done. I'm interested to see what their background was like when they were growing up as a kid, or if it happened when they were an adult, or what triggered these incidents and what happened to them, and that they had went on to do all these crimes. So I recently decided to pick up quite a few, actually two books, I have three books. I picked up the Unabomber book and I picked up, I'm actually reading one at the moment, which everybody will know about, which is the Zodiac Killer. I'm actually reading about that at the moment. Um, and I did pick up another book which is sitting around here somewhere. I find the book. And then I picked up this one, which is by Brian Inns, and it is about serial killers in general. So each chapter is a different serial killer. And I was really intrigued, because it has, like, Ted Bundy in it. It has Jack the Ripper. It has... It just has a whole load of different ones. It also has a Zodiac Killer in here, but it has a whole load of different ones in here that even people from the UK like don't realize how many UK serial killers there were like for example me um but yeah I thought I would pick this one up as well there's another one that he wrote um or no he didn't read it he didn't write it but it's along the same line as as this one and it's called killer women so yeah I thought that would be I thought it's gonna sound really weird but I thought this might be a good rebook to bring on holiday with me so I picked that one up but on the backs of all them I find another serial killer book and again I should probably also tell you guys that the also one of the reasons why I was interested in ser serial killer books is because I I don't know if I mentioned before in any of my other videos but I was studying science for quite some time Obviously, I studied it in school and then I went on to um, college and studied applied sciences. And I was then going to go on and learn forensic sciences, which would have took me on to do criminology. Um, and that's where I was going down the line. It was either I was going to be a forensic scientist or I was going to be a criminologist. So... That's also one of the reasons why I'm quite interested in this kind of stuff and I love kind of watching like 
um, crime dramas and stuff like that. Even if they're not real, it doesn't matter. I just love watching it at the moment. I'm watching, well, I'm trying to get back on track with the um, Criminal Minds. But anyway, we are going so off topic. Um, so I bought this one, which is Helter Skelter, which if you guys don't know, it is a guy called um, Charles Manson. And in 1969, he decided, again, I don't know why he done this. Obviously, this book is going to tell me, but, well, hopefully this book is going to tell me. But, yeah, in 1969, um, he, he found seven people and he shot them, he stabbed them, and he literally bludgeoned them to death. Um, but what makes it a wee bit more interesting is obviously this is about how he became the way he became but he what sets him apart from other serial killers is he actually coaxed his family into doing the same things with him so um for example i'll read a wee bit of the back bit for you guys it said um but the real question when unanswered. How did Manson make his family kill for him? What made these young men and women kill again and again with no trace of remorse? Did the murders continue even after Manson's imprisonment? So this obviously will tell me hopefully all about him and why he done what he done and how he got his family to do what he was doing and stuff like that but a lot of people have read this book and uh, said that it was amazing so I can't wait to read it. It is quite a big hefty book but um, I won't be taking this on holiday with me because it's already weighty as it is. But um, I, yeah, I can't wait to read this. Now, I don't know what, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know what's going on with this. They haven't cut the pages properly. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but these, these were folded in. Um, and I thought they were just like folded pages, but obviously they just haven't cut them right. But, um, yeah, I can't really read that. That was only £4. It was £10 down to 4 so that was a bargain. I kind of wish I could have picked up a few more, um, like different serial colour books there, but we didn't have the time to have a wee look. And, um, because obviously we had to go back to work and stuff. This was on one of our breaks that we done all this. Um, so yeah. But I'm happy with the fact that I, because I picked it up a couple of times and I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. And I was like, no, I'm going to get it. So I'm happy that I got that. Okay, I have talked the leg off a stool. Okay, now on to the Primark stuff. Okay, so the first thing I picked up, well, it wasn't the first thing, but it was one of the one things that I was going back in for is a new duvet sheet or duvet cover. Um, the reason why I wanted a new duvet cover was because I threw all out my old ones and I only have my Harry Potter ones left. Now, I love, again, like I said, I love Harry Potter to death, but I don't want to be constantly sleeping in two Harry Potter duvets and washing them all the single time. Or all the single time, all the bloody time. So, I decided to pick up this one and this one's like really really nice I really like the design it's like different kind of mosaic kind of if that's that's what I'm thinking of I don't know if that's right or not but uh, it's kind of like this different like mosaic kind of pattern and I really like that it has like the blues in it because I think blue really goes with grey but then we have the pink which I also love and I think that it would go with the grey really nicely like, so it's obviously refreshed um, and I did pick this up before um, by last week I think I picked this up and I didn't realise that I picked it up in a king size instead of a double so I went back I gave the king size to Courtney because at the exact same day that we picked it up she bought a king size king size king size duvet um, so I just decided you know what I know I'll more likely be going back to Primark so I could exchange it but here you go, have a gift from me. So I give it to her so she can have a couple of different um, duvet covers. Um, but this was only £11. And yeah, I just, I have tried so many different duvet covers from different places, like especially like Argus from um, Ikea, from eBay, from um, 
just just all over the place where you can imagine that you buy your duvets I have tried and the best place that I have found for duvets or duvet covers are Primark I really really enjoy their prim their covers and they don't rip as easily I move about in my bed like nobody's business at night and for some reason buttons always come off or if they're like um, the clip on buttons they always break. Um, I always end up poking holes in the seams of some for some reason. Um, but yeah, I just really like the Primark ones and cannot wait to change my bed into them because I got new pillows the other day as well. So can't wait. Um, the next thing I picked up was a bag, and this the, the reason behind this bag. I didn't just pick up a bag. Um, I wanted a crossover bag for holiday that will fit like essentials in it. So like um, my purse, my water bottle, um, my camera and my tripod. But I don't think this is gonna fit all of it, but I still really, really like this. So I decided to pick it up. I did see a, I think it was a leather one um, that I really, really liked. And I think I'm gonna go back for it. I think it was only eight pound or something like that. But this was only a fiver and it's a lovely, lovely color. I don't have any gray kind of bags like this. So I'm glad that I picked it up. It's just, I think it's just gonna be a bit too thin for me to put stuff in it and for it to sip. But um, let me take the paper and all out of it for you guys to see. Um, it just looks like that on the inside but you can't really see. There's one pocket at the front and there's no zip or anything. This zip here is fake at the front. It is only for show, but this is an actual pocket at the front as well. But it's just a really nice, like I can't, like it's fake leather, um, but it's just a really nice gray bag and I don't have a gray bag. So, and this was five pound. I'm just gonna start dumping things on my bed because I need to put all this away. So, um, the next thing I got, I didn't actually get these. My sister got these from me, but I thought I'd put them in this haul anyway, because they are from Primark. These are the Harry Potter shoes. So these are the pencils from Primark that have the Harry Potter logo on the front in like a coppery rose gold. I love the back more than anything. I love the fact that they have these and it says Hogwarts on it and in the wee bits down here it says Harry Potter. Um, but these are a size seven. I've tried them on um, in case I had to take them back obviously. But these were eight pound um, and these were really, really nice and comfortable. They're soft to the backs, which obviously I need to make sure with my feet and stuff. And the fact that they have this like bit here that it like stretches like I can't even remember what that's called that material but um the bit here that like stretches um the elastic that's the word I'm looking for the elastic there that stretches when your foot goes into it makes a whole lot of difference because obviously when I'm putting my full weight on the ground my feet spread and then when I'm putting my toes like when I'm walking and I'm, I'm using my tippy toes or whatever obviously they spread as well so yeah um they're not wide fitted, but they're a size seven. And yeah, if they are nice enough, I, obviously I'm gonna be wearing these for a while to try them out and stuff like that. But obviously I might take these on holiday with me. The next two things are plain and simple. Obviously I got some sports socks, but these are the footies, the sports footies. Um, so I'll show you what I mean if I can. These ones. Or I can't even get them out. Well, I suppose I can rip them because they're probably going to go straight, straight into my drawers. But they just look like that. So you can wear them with them kind of pimsel shoes or like if you have like the Skechers Go Walks or stuff like that, you could wear them with that. They're quite soft. They're like a breathable material here, like a fabric because um, they have fit mesh that that's what that's the word I was looking for the breathable super soft and light fabric um they're comfortable tops uh ventilation mesh um so when they say the comfortable tops they mean this bit here because this bit always like digs in to me when I'm wearing these kind of socks but um yeah you got five whites five blacks obviously they will be going on holiday with me and that's all that I'll need to take 
sock wise um, so yeah I got a pair of each and they were 3 50 so um, my mum actually wants me to go back and pick her up someone's because she gets the ones from Tesco's that are just like that so yeah the next thing I have is a pair of work shoes now I bought these because they are they were workout shoes, that's what they're called. Um, but I bought these for work. They have memory foam in them. So obviously they're gonna like, after a while, they're gonna like shape to my feet, which will make it quite comfortable. But I have been wearing my go walks to work for two years since I got them. And I needed something else to wear to work because they're just getting to the point where they are still comfortable and they're still like wearable. There's no holes or anything in them. But they're just getting to the point where you just, you know, you need a new pair of shoes. So I picked up these ones especially for work because you go for shoes in my work like nobody's business. So these were £10 and they are lace ups, really soft, soft material, really flexible shoes. Um, they have a good base at the bottom for walking and stuffing. Um, the backs of them are really quite soft. And again, I was thinking if these work wonders with work, I will pick up another pair um, and use them for my holidays as well because obviously we'll be work walking in a lot of places. You can get them in khaki green as well, but black is just, black just goes with everything. But these are from the Alice Living, Living X Primark range. Um, so yeah, I thought these would be pretty good and there's nothing really much you can say about them. They remind me, I think it's like the Nikes they remind me of. Um, I can't remember what the Nikes are called though, but they're really, really nice, breathable. I just hope that this material at the toes, I don't know if you can see, but it's like fented. I just, I hold on, do you know what? While we're here, I should check this out in the store. Yeah, no, that's okay. I wanted to make sure that the bit at the top, the fented bit, wasn't like holes so you could see your feet in them. But um, yeah, I think these will work wonders. And I think, I think they'll be really, really comfortable. It says extra comfort with memory foam. So yeah, I could gain, like I said, size sevens. And if they work well for work, I will pick up another pair for holiday. And I might even pick up the khaki green ones if they're that good. Um, so yeah, I got those. Um, I also got myself a pair of earrings because recently I picked up two other packs of earrings which I'll show you. These are only 150 but they're obviously out of their packet. Um, so they're hooped earrings and you get gold and silver ones. So you get these sets of hooped earrings. Ones are like twisted. I put them together but ones are like I don't know if you're going to be able to say that but twisted and then the other ones are just normal ones these are actually quite heavy compared to the twisted ones but you got a pack of two and I obviously got the goat ones as well um, for 150 and I thought that was pretty good because I really want to kind of start using using wearing um, more because obviously hooped earrings are coming back into fashion and I can't kind of wanted to get myself a few pairs of them I do want to get a few different sizes so I will be picking up more but then I also picked up these ones these are the nine pack for two pound and I will actually be putting a couple in in a minute um, I realized that some of these might be a bit small for this ear because if you guys didn't know um, or if you can't tell I don't know if you can tell this ear I used to stretch I used to have a stretcher in this ear and I got right up to a size eight um, and then it went infected uh, and then it went clear and everything was working well and I just decided one day I was going to take it out. My mum obviously was not happy with me stretching my ear. Um, I was, funny story about stretching my ear, it was a joke and I was going to buy the fake stretchers until my friend who did stretch her ear turned around and said let's go to this shop in Belfast that you can pick up cheap stretchers and you can actually go in and stretch your ear and you can start from, I think it's like 1, 1.5. Um, you can start from there and if you don't want to do it anymore, you just take them out. Then, not even a year <laughs> went by. Um, not even six months, actually. I was only in there for six months. Um, I was working for a record label at the time for six months. And 
for there, not even the space of three months, I went up to a size eight. So quite big. Um, and I didn't want to get like the plug ones as well. But anyway, uh, these obviously some of them like the fairy top ones that are like super small like the wee small pearls in the middle will probably not fit this ear because this ear is the actual hole is actually quite big you're not going to be able to see it but it is actually quite big so it's maybe like a size it's maybe like a one and a half two in a stretcher if you guys know what I'm talking about. If not, look it up. But um, yeah, so then many ones might not work. But the rest of them, like the squares and the triangles and the wee lines and stuff will actually work. So I picked up those. Now they're only in gold. I should have picked up a silver one. But I will, they're only two pound. If they don't set my ears crazy, then I will go and pick some more up. And last but not least, another pair of shoes like I needed another pair of shoes but I picked up these ones which are just like the Harry Potter ones but in black and obviously they have breathable material as it calls and they were five pound can't go wrong when they're only five pound I love the fact that Primark have done like new labels like this so you don't have to look at the the cooks um you can look at these because sometimes the hooks are wrong um, especially when people are trying on their shoes and stuff but yeah they're quite a thick bottom like a thick base but um, if they're anything like the other ones these should be really comfortable and they do have like the elastic bit here and like I said it's like a breathable material like it's vented um, the backs are really super soft so these might even be my walking shoes for holiday as well but seven pound you can't go up uh, five pound you can't go wrong so that is this haul guys this haul was quite a big long haul um compared to what i thought it was gonna be because i got too busy talking to you about serial killers um but yeah guys i know that's not for everybody but everybody's different so um but yeah that's what i got from my shopping experience yesterday like I said I only went into like three shops so and I bought something in every shop but yeah guys um if you want to see more kind of like pre-mark hauls um let me know because I definitely will be buying more stuff and again I don't buy their clothes obviously I'm too big to fit into their clothes um I think they want to go up to is it eight, eight, no not 18 a size 20 I think I can't remember what size they go up to um, but they never fit me so I obviously go from for other places to get my clothes um, but I love getting everything else from there I have now rekindled my love for Primark shoes